What's up guys, Grim here. If you're one of the people that have left a comment in the comment section of the last platinum making guide that I had, then you are entered into the giveaway of two separate Rexes. And the winners of those two Rexes are, bam, right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending them to you just shortly in game. As usual, whenever you guys make donations to the channel via the PayPal link in the description below these videos, it not only supports the channel, but it also spurs giveaways for everybody that's watching these. So the first donation that we got is from Scott, which he donated $10, and he's been doing that every single month for a long time now, and he's been a very big supporter of the channel, so that will spur a Rex giveaway for you guys. Thank you for your continued support, Scott. It's really, really helpful. I really appreciate it. The next donation we got is a whopping $100 and it is made by somebody that wishes to remain anonymous but did write me a message and was a very nice message and you know who you are I really really appreciate the $100 donation and with that kind of a donation it is gonna spur two 30-day patron pass giveaways thank you so so much for such a large donation I cannot tell you how much it helps and the last donation we got is a $20 donation from Luca thank you so much Luca and that is gonna spur yet another Rex giveaway so there you have it folks two Rex giveaways and two 30-day patron pass giveaways as well and the rules are the same in that if you are somebody that has created your rift account using my referral link in the description below the videos then you are eligible to win 10 times the amount of Rex if you are one of the Rex winners now in order to be eligible for these giveaways all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button the winners will be announced in the next weekend video that we do good luck everyone What's up guys, today we're going to go over a Sentinel Cleric PvP build that is very, very good. And it was given to me by a friend of mine named Meeps from Deepwood. Thank you very much Meeps. And let's get right into how to do this build. And the soul tree is as follows. Now if you cannot see this very well on your screen or you don't want to pause the video or anything like that, I will have a link in the description below this video where you can click on it and see the actual soul tree and everything on a separate web page. So make sure to refer down there for that as well as any macros that we go over. Now as you can see we went 58 points into Sentinel. 13 into Purifier and 5 into Oracle. And the points that we have missing out of Sentinel, since we have pretty much the whole tree filled up, is the 3 points from Benediction. And you might think that we need the healing since it's 2% extra healing, but the stuff that we get from the other trees is much more important or more powerful. So the 13 into Purifier, we have 5 into Flame Speaker, 5 into Spirit Guidance. We have two into Searing Heat and one in Flashover. And the five points we have into Oracle are into Confident. Now the masteries that we have for this build is the level 61 mastery being Avenging Shield. And the level 62 is Divine Inspiration. The level 63 is Meditation. Level 64 is Faith's Reward, and level 65 is Divine Favor. Now, all of those masteries are pretty much things that you have to go with, with a healing, uh, cleric build, anything else is really going to hinder you, so it's not very many options for that. The buffs that we'll be using is Sign of Wrath, Wisdom of Ages, Boon of Vitality, Healer's Blessing, Faith Rewarded, and marked by the light and of course any planar or guild buffs that you may have uh the main buff that you want to keep up at all times if possible because in pvp you get your buff stripped quite often is faith rewarded this is a very important buff make sure that you have it up even if it gets stripped down make sure to put it up as fast as possible all right let's go into the macros here now, as you can see, I have them labeled rather nicely with the small hills, big hills, all that good stuff. 
Now, if you would like to have it to where you can copy and paste these macros, refer down to the description below this video and I will have it down there for your convenience where you can copy and paste as you like into your game. Now, something that I have to say is I actually prefer you to look in the description below for the macros because a lot of times I update them if I figure out better ways of uh, putting them together that I did not have in the video. And a lot of times you guys give suggestions after you've seen the video on better ways to make the macros as well. And I'll update them in the description below so that they are the most up-to-date and most efficient that I find. So go down there for all the macros, but I will have them on the screen for your convenience as well. So as you can see, the small macro here is the healing invocation one. And this can be used while moving or standing still. It's preferred that you stand still because it will cast the healing invocation. But if you need to move, we will have the healing flare ready to go so that it will pop a smaller heal, but it's an instant on the move heal that you can use while running. And it's going to also pop a few of your 8 second cooldowns such as healing breath. Nothing that's on a big cooldown that's going to be detrimental that you're going to need at a later time whenever health is really getting low. Alright, so the second macro we have here is our big heal. And this is Crucial Invocation. And it's going to pop a lot of the cooldowns that's going to reduce the cast time or remove the cast time altogether of that big heal. And this macro has to be used while standing still. So make sure that you keep that in mind and not start running around trying to cast it. And it has Touch of Light, Healer's Haste, uh, Niles Hope, and Flash Over that's going to contribute towards the the cast time of the crucial invocation all right then we have probably the most important heal in this whole thing in that it is your self heal and being a healer in pvp you're always going to be targeted everybody's going to be trying to bring you down so that you can heal your team so it's super super important that you have a good macro that's going to keep you alive through all of that damage now this is going to pop a lot of cooldowns and keep you alive as as much as we can so make sure that you have this ready to go and pop it as often as you need to now it is going to cast big heals on yourself which will be cast time so you can use it while moving but it is preferred that you stand still whenever popping this macro because sometimes it's just better to stand there and take the damage and pop the big heals on yourself so that your team can sit there and whittle down the enemies that are attacking you and you can stay alive through all the damage. All right. So then we have our self-cleansing macro. And this is going to cast Empowering Light and Cleansing Prayer. It's very important to keep yourself cleansed because a lot of the stuff is going to reduce the healing and everything else that you use. So make sure you keep yourself cleansed. All right, then we have an AOE macro. And you want to be casting this quite often because as people are just taking a little bit of damage, you want to make sure that you are topping everybody off with this AOE macro. Now, if somebody needs to be spot healed, that's whenever you go into your small macro or your big heal macro. But keep the AoEs going as much as possible because everybody needs to be topped off. And that makes your life so much easier once somebody does start taking quite a bit of damage that everybody else is topped off and not everybody is getting low all at once. All right, then we have, this is a very optional macro here. I really recommend separating these two but i went ahead and put them into a macro just in case some of you guys like to have both of your break freeze in one macro now if you are the type of person that likes to spam buttons do not use this macro take it out altogether. don't even copy and paste it don't bother with it separate the two break freeze and liberty of thought is your second break free so yeah use it at your discretion but it is recommended to separate them i just put them together for convenience all right let's get into the buttons that i use here and the first macro that we have on our bar down here is our small heal macro the second one is our big heal macro the third one is the self heal macro the fourth one i have is the aoe heal macro and then I have Cleansing Prayer on a separate button because this is the one that I spam on the people as they're needing to be cleansed. Uh, I pretty much saved the self-cleansing one for myself 
this is the one that I spam on to everybody else. All right, then we have Divine Providence, and this is a very important ability here that I will go over just shortly whenever we go into the how to play. All right, then we have the self-cleansing macro. Then we have urgency, which is going to increase your movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. This is a big getaway ability here, so make sure that you have it readily available. All right, then we have our full heal, which is called fullness of life. It is a 100% health restoration to your target. All right, then we have our break free macro if you want to use the macro that I suggested. Now, we have Emblem of Ice up here, which is going to be the ability from Oracle that is going to be an instant uh, attack ability. And this is very important to have on your bar because you do not want to be the cleric that can only heal and has no attack abilities on your bars. And you watch somebody flag cap right in front of you and you cannot stop them from doing it. So make sure that you have at least one instant attack ability on any build that you have because you always want to be able to interrupt people that are flag capping or picking up a stone or something else that's going to win you the war front if you stop them. All right, then we have Flash of Radiance, which pacifies all nearby enemies for eight seconds or until damage. This is pretty good, but most of the time the enemies are immune to it, but have it ready just in case you need it. All right, then we have Reverent Supplication, which is going to be the thing that you use to restore your mana. And you're going to be using this quite often if you use your big heal. And I use my big heal every time somebody starts to get low. So, yeah, this is going to be something that you're using quite a bit. All right, then we have Life's Return, which is a Resurrect. And it is an instant Resurrect with a five-minute cooldown and very useful in war fronts all right and that's pretty much everything on my bar so let's get right into how to play this build it is very easy but it takes some getting used to so practice makes perfect now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your faith rewarded buff is up this is the most important buff in my opinion so make sure that you have it up if you guys are getting buff stripped or you have died recently or something like that make sure that you get this buff up because it's going to save people's lives in war fronts all right so the first thing you want to do after that is focus on this ability down here called divine providence and that is your level 65 mastery that you selected now once you hit it once it's going to apply a divine providence to you and it's going to buff up your heals by seven to eight thousand more health on top of what you're already healing so make sure that you have that up and that's going to change your icon down here at the bottom into divine favor whenever it previously said divine providence divine favor is what you're going to cast onto your targets in order to make them receive more health from your heals so whenever we select a target we are going to cast divine favor onto them and i have a k alert that makes it pop up above my character whenever i have a target selected that I have divine favor put onto them and you can have it onto three different targets so if I don't have it on that particular target the K alerts won't show up at the top and I'll know right off the bat that I need to uh, cast divine favor onto them so that they'll get more heals from my cast so I will have all the K alerts in the description below as well so refer down there if you want my same K alert set up all right, so naturally on a dummy, I cannot apply divine favor, so I can't show you exactly how it's done, but just cast it onto them and it'll apply that buff and then it'll pop up on K alerts above. All right, so once you've done that, you can start casting your small heals, and this small heal is going to pop your eight second cooldowns and apply a decent amount of healing. If you stand still, it'll cast Healing Invocation, as you can see on my character there. Now, it can also cast Healing Flare if you want to move around rather than stand still. And as you can see, Healing Breath on the cooldown just to the left of my character, it uses it off a of cooldown. So that's your basic eight second cooldown uh, heal that it's gonna pop every time it's available. 
All right, so the second hill that we're going to go into is our big hill. If you see somebody getting about half life or so, you want to make sure that you stand still and start casting these big hills. And it's going to pop a lot of cooldowns that's going to reduce the cast time of your big hills or make them instant. So let's pretend like the dummy in front of me is a player that's getting low in life. I've already been casting my small hills on them and moving around. And now I realize I need to cast the big hill. So I'll stop moving and start using the big hill. And it'll start popping all of my cooldowns for the big hill to reduce the cast time. Now as you can see, it eats up a lot of mana. So this will make you go really low in mana really fast. So once you start getting really low in mana and you have saved your target or he died through it or whatever else happened, you want to make sure that you go ahead and cast your reverent supplication to get your mana regeneration going and get your uh, mana full up so that you can start casting your heals once again. If you need to go back to your small heals in order to not use as much mana, you can. But if you have a free moment, make sure that you get your mana back because you never know when you're going to need those big heals again. Alright, so let's say that you start getting targeted and you need to pop your self heal here. Now you can use it while running and it'll target yourself. Now I'm not hurt at all so it's not showing me getting uh, healing or anything really. But if I notice that a lot of people are targeting me, sometimes I just have to stand still and get the big heals going. And sometimes you just got to eat the damage i mean if you can run away while healing in line of sight do it but sometimes you just it's just better to stand still and eat the damage and cast bigger heals on yourself and heal through it so there you go on that and then we have the aoe heal here which we can hit that and it will heal all of our targets in front of them in front of us should i say we got our cleansing prayer, which you need to target anybody that needs to be cleansed and make sure they use cleansing prayer. Uh, usually I use uh, gadget raid frames, so that'll make it to where whenever somebody's needing to be cleansed, their name will turn purple. And it makes it really easy for me to cast the cleansing prayer on them and know exactly who needs to be cleansed and uh, if the whole team is needing to be cleansed or something. So then we have our self cleanse here, which we can hit that at any time to cleanse ourself. You want to make sure that you are cleansed as much as possible because if they are casting healing reduction things on you, you need to be cleansed so that you can be healing everybody up to your maximum efficiency. All right, then we have our urgency, which that is our getaway. If we are running around healing, and all of a sudden we start getting targeted, we might need to pop it and it'll increase our run speed. Now, as you can see, it's not real fast run speed increase. So most likely you want to use your consumables uh, for PVP, which is your run speed addition that you put on your boots. So use that as well as urgent urgency and it'll improve your run speed quite a bit. All right, so then we have fullness of life. Now, fullness of life is very, very important in that you want to use this quite a bit because it's going to allow you to heal up people a lot on one push of a button. So don't save it too much. If people are getting low, use it as often as you feel like you need to. Don't sit there and save it all the time thinking that you're just going to need it for a dire situation or something. You know, pop it, get people healed up because it's going to do a lot of healing. All right, so we got our break free on a separate button. Make sure that you do not put it in your macros, uh, such as your small heal or something like that. A lot of people like to put break freeze in their macros that you they spam all the time, and that is a terrible idea because somebody might snare you or something like that that you don't need to break free from, but you hit the button and it breaks free and uses up your uh, one of your two break freeze that you might need whenever somebody stuns you and everybody's getting low in health or you're about to die. You wanna make sure that you have that available. Don't put in your normal macros. All right, then we have our emblem of ice and that is going to be used if we need to uh, hit somebody if they are trying to flag cap or something. Now, as you can see, it shoots out at them. 
and it it has a little bit of distance the damage doesn't apply instantly it has to travel to the target so keep that in mind if you're trying to interrupt somebody that is trying to cap a flag or something in front of you all right then we have flash of radiance this is going to pacify everybody around you that is trying to harm you now a lot of times people are immune to this or uh they've got the immunity up should i say and it's not going to be that effective but use it whenever you're getting targeted that way they can be uh, pacified and you can run away and hopefully save your butt all right then we have our reverent supplication which of course is our restoring our mana and you want to use this all the time anytime you have some downtime from healing make sure you keep your mana as high as possible because you never know when you're going to need it uh never know they might all jump down from the cliffs if you're in a black garden like this and come down all at once and start attacking your guys whenever you thought that you had it in the bag and didn't need to heal much more anymore so and then we have life's return which is going to be our resurrection and this is an instant resurrection so you can just go ahead and pop it and bring somebody back to life and they get 50 percent of their health and mana back so that's really good in bringing people right back into the fight uh i usually save it for healers if another healer goes down i make sure to pop it on them get them right back into healing with me so that i get some help and more people don't have to die well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this sentinel cleric pvp guide and if you have any questions be sure to post them in the comments below this video and i will try to answer them as soon as i can now if you guys would like to copy and paste the macros they will be in the description below this video so make sure to refer down there for those now if you would like to get the k alerts i will have the k alert code as well in the description below the video and i will also have a link to the soul trees down there so that you can click on them and look on them on a separate web page so you don't have to squint at the screen or pause the video or anything like that now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see future content and if you are beyond amazing you can always use my referral link in the description below the video and it will give you lots of cool stuff if you're just creating a rift account as well as put you on my friends list and me on yours and also give you extra rex if you're one of the giveaway winners of the rex giveaways and the ultimate awesomeness is if you actually hit that donation button so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time